Good morning, it's a, another early start for me. Um, I'm in the north of Belgium and I've got another bird hide booked. This time it's a specialist bird hide for raptors. I've never done this hide before so I really don't know what to expect um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the last week or so temperatures have been really really high. We've had over 30 degrees C for most of the week. A couple of days ago I was in another bird hide and temperatures got very very hot within that hide so it was quite challenging. But today temperatures are less than 10 degrees C. Um, there's a lot of early morning mist on the fields and the sun is just coming up behind me over my shoulder. So yeah I'm really looking forward to it and I'll bring you along on the, on the journey and uh, see what we can get. So I'm now set up in the hide, um, it's actually quite low down and it's a much smaller hide than I'm used to, um, it's very comfortable um, but it's open so it's just a blanket and a piece of wood um, keeping me in and I've got a view on a little, uh, little pond and then an open area and then there's pine trees all around so just talking to the owner of the hide and he was telling me that um, we've crossed over the border from Belgium into the Netherlands so that's interesting and um, and then it's going to be a, a game of patience so probably not a huge amount of diversity and smaller birds coming in um, but probably one if not two types of raptors will come in but it will take a long time and, uh, and maybe one or two other bird species. So it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a, a waiting game. So it's, it's quite dark, it's dark in the hide, it's dark outside because of the pine trees um, creating quite a lot of shade. And I had a couple of questions in comments on other videos um, as to how the camera is stabilised in these hides. Um, so I'm having to use my iPhone uh, spotlight here, but um, let me just quickly show you. There are these things called ground pods um, which allow you to fix a tripod head to those pods with a uh, normal screw attachment um, and they obviously have a much lower footprint than a tripod and it allows you to basically move <coughs> your cameras on this this bench top here so you can sit down and you have the camera eye level so let me just quickly show you that one. so you see here's the first first ground pod I've got a second one set up there with a fluid head for video and this is my GH4 on here with a, with a normal tripod head. Just gone half past midday, so I've been in the hide now five hours. The light is really good, even though we've got the canopy from the, the trees with some uh, areas of shade, but overall the, the light's really, really good. Um, but it's been very quiet. Just had two visits so far this morning from great spotted woodpeckers and there's also been one chaffinch. The, um, the woodpecker's still around because I can hear him but um, yeah it's been very very quiet. No sign of any birds of prey which is really what I'm here for. So I think it's going to be a very long afternoon and I'm just going to have to be patient. So mid-morning more and more frogs were coming out of this water hole that's just in front of me so to try and break a little bit the monoton monotony of waiting 
um, decided to give it a go and shoot some of them um, using the 100-400mm lens really like a macro to try and get close in and get some of the detail so yeah that's that's helped kill a little bit of time um, been quite a lot of fun but they're really small frogs they're tiny in fact um, they certainly can jump quite far um, and every now and again you hear a splosh left and right So good news, after about eight and a half hours in the hide, um, got the first bird of prey coming in. Um, I think it's a juvenile sparrow hawk, um, and it's that juvenile part that's giving me a little bit of doubt because there was some coloration um, on the plumage, but um, basically I was watching the woodpecker the sparrowhawk came in, chased the woodpecker off, and then proceeded to have a bird bath right in front of me. So I've had to move to the left side of the hide because there was just a slight mound which was obstructing the view. I wanted to try and get a clear shot. So after about eight hours of very little photography, finally, when the sparrowhawk came in, uh, my photographic brain had to kick in. Um, so I'm not really sure whether I got any great shots. Um, he didn't stay long, he was here for about six or seven minutes, so I was really just trying to bank shots and I actually thought that he'd probably um, hang around a little bit but he flew straight out so I'm hoping a little bit later he'll come back um, but we'll see but yeah it's um, I'm really pleased that I got uh, at least I got one sighting and, and got some images from that So it's just gone 5 p.m. It's been a very long day. Been in the hide since about 7.30 this morning. And uh, I knew it'd be challenging, but I didn't really expect to have to wait um, about eight and a half hours before the one and only bird of prey came in. Um, yeah, it was a juvenile sparrowhawk, and uh, it was really worth the wait. I'm just uh, a little sad that uh, the bird didn't stick around longer. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned to my channel. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you next time.